Hello. So we are up in the office today. And it's just a little after noon on Monday. The new vlog will be out in a couple of weeks. By the time you hear this, it's been out. Uh, I've got some people here doing work in the back, as I've had for a while now. And uh, right now, I'm going to try to catch up on a bunch of boxes that have been piling up. So I've got these three right here. That one, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, these three, that one, and those two over there. Um, so yeah, we're just going to open up some of this stuff. Uh, tomorrow is recycling pickup, so I'm like, well, let's get some more of this stuff out of here and we'll get packing material and uh, cardboard out of here. So I think we're going to start with this one because I'm not actually sure when this came in. The other ones I know were all within the last week or two. This one might have been here longer, um, but it's not been opened. It's possible at the time I knew what it was and didn't open it, but uh, you know, we've got this easy packaging. It won't be but my moment to get in. Okay, so that's one of the new Monkey Kid sets, the Dragon of the East Palace, uh, 80049. Wow, it's a two, four, six, eight figures with that. That's kind of cool. Uh, four of them have those strange headdresses because they're kind of like underwater, I guess. Anyway, that is what this one is. And, uh, okay, I just had a rubber band snap from off of holding the phone in place. Hopefully that doesn't cause a problem. I'm not going to worry about it this instant, but, again, hopefully it's not a problem. Let's see, can I just... You know, we're just going to put that aside as is, and we'll deal with it a little bit later. All right. Uh, let's go to this one. Just an arbitrary choice. Where do we go next? Alright, so definitely Lego, Lego box, paper. Alright, so this is an older thing. This is the Houses of the World 2. Um, so we'll put this over here. Uh, this was a point redemption for this little guy, the little space uh, rocket ride. So, and that box is in pretty nice shape. I'm happy with that. Uh, and then, of course, another one of the VIP promo packs. They seem to be collecting a bunch of these. We'll probably do a part out of that one eventually. And another Monkey Kid set. This one is the Mize Guardian Dragon, 80047. That's kind of cool. All right. So we're going to set that down. And we'll put it on the floor just so we don't have any trouble. And toss the box behind me. I will deal with boxes later. All right. Now we got this one here. Alright, so this one is one of the Winnie the Pooh sets. Uh, yeah, idea set is uh, 21326. And I believe that one's probably going to go away relatively soon. Alright, so that's all we got for that. And we got the next one here. It's possible that it might be another one of the same thing. I think I had ordered three. Not 100% sure. It is, in fact, the Winnie the Pooh set again. All right. Uh, I think these were back ordered when I ordered them. So I got some promos for them previously. And then, uh, yeah, so. And actually. It's possible that these boxes here are the promos and stuff for them, so we'll see. I think I had also ordered something small to make sure the promos shipped immediately. And there we go, there's a third one. All right. And we are gonna pause the video while I move some stuff around a little bit. All right, we're back. We moved the those sets over here and we got these all set up so I don't have to move too much to open these up. It's a little warm in here at the moment. The sun's beating down on the windows. That's all right. So this is, I believe, it very well maybe the promo packs for the other stuff. Let's see, we have, okay, so this is the Disney 100 Years Celebration promo, which I got with the Winnie the Pooh set, and I'm pretty sure I just basically ordered one of the for sale keychains just to make sure that they sent the promo when I bought it, because those were on back order. So yeah, we're gonna put this over here. It's going to move this guy up here. It's just one of him. 
And I don't think there's anything else in here. Oh, I take it back. There is. There's a VIP logo keychain. That's sealed shut, so we're going to leave that shut for the time being. But I think they had offered these once before, and now they're back again. Uh, so, I might get a second one of each of those. We'll see how that goes. All right, let's do the one with a slightly smooshed box. Hopefully it doesn't smoosh whatever's on the inside. All right, it's the right corner to get smooshed, but it did not. So that's in good shape. Put that over here with the other one. And then the keychain. And then, oh, I got another one of the keychains, but this one's popped open. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that since it did pop open. So yeah, it's the Lego system keychain, and it spins in the middle. So that's kind of cool. But we are going to slide that back in there and just fold that over. All right, we got that. And uh, that's pretty much it for that box. Now we're going to look at the third one, which I believe is the last one. Well, last of these small ones that I believe are the promos for these. All right, there's the Disney 100 again. Very cool. I think that's all I was able to get was the three of them. Uh, another keychain. This one's Ernie, but it's just he's wrapped in the paper, so we won't unwrap that at the moment. And we got another one of these. This is the 1958 one. The one I showed was 1964, and the other one was 1950. So they have them by date because uh, their logo changed. And I think that's probably it. Yep, doesn't seem like there's anything more in that one. A little bit of a pile of boxes going on. I'm going to get the knife back, and we're going to come over here, and we're going to open up these two big boxes. Uh, when Ben showed up yesterday to give a hand, these were on the porch, and he pulled them in for me, so that was really nice. All right, let's see what we have in here. All right, so we ordered some stuff. These are the Brickheads, the Disney 100 Brickheads, and these were on sale, so I decided to pick some of these up. I think I have five of them. Yeah, there's five of them, and then because of that, I was able to get the, the Blacktron promo, which they brought back again. That's kind of cool. Uh, I believe and it sold out very quickly. They also brought back the Bionicle promo, so I have one of those again, or another one rather. And of course, another VIP fun and funky VIP add on pack. And then some Haunted Mansions. I think there looks like there's three of these. Uh, it was a fairly high buy in point to get the promo. Uh, I think it was $220 to get those two, but you got both of them at $220, which is a little odd, but hey, whatever. Uh, and then they also had the thing where you could get uh, redeem zero VIP points to get the blue minifigure keychain. So I'm like, well, okay, it's zero points. I can do that. Everybody could do that. And that seems to be everything that's in here. I don't see anything else. All right, so now we'll pull the knife out, open up the next one, and see what we got in here. Okay, so here is the two promos again, the Black Tron and the Bionicle. So we did get up to the purchase threshold. And then we got this. This is the Lunar New Year Parade, which has this guy. He's the important one. He's the purple spaceman uh, that everybody wants to part together to get an actual full spaceman in purple. Um, and I got two of those. That was also on sale. It was a little surprising because it's pretty new, but, you know, it may not have been a permanent sale. Uh, another one of my free blue keychains because, well, again, it's free. Uh, I think there was a limit of two or three on it. I don't remember. I got one of these Peter Pan and Wendy storybook adventures uh, as well to get the dollar total up. And then another one of these, the Fun and Funky VIP add-on pack. And again, I think that's probably it for this box anything else in there that is all i've got for this portion of the video um 
I'm probably going to include a little bit more haul type content because I've got stuff I have to open up. I need to make room. And I'm going to be busy doing a lot of stuff around the house, trying to clean up some areas. Uh, we have some guests coming for a week in early September. So we need to make some stuff more organized and that's before they get here, which is part of what I've just done. In any case, uh, as always, thank you very much. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thank you. Hello again. Uh, it is still Monday, and I am now dealing with a couple more boxes that came in. Uh, this one's from Lego, and this one's from Amazon. Um, I also had a couple of orders that I got out, and uh, yeah, so it's been a busy day. Uh, but we're going to open up the Lego box first. Now, it was crushed a little bit in that corner there on the top. I have it upside down. Uh, but most of the time, they pack the sets in first, and then they're at the bottom. So I'm kind of hoping that it's not a problem. So we'll see. I was uh, working on getting my recycling out and stuff. And I, like I should open these in case I've got more paper, which is almost a given in the Lego box. So we'll see what we got. All right. All right, so I see here we have another one of the Lunar New Year Parade sets. And underneath it, it looks like another Lunar New Year Parade set. So that's cool. I have four of those now that, from this purchase. Here's the another one of the VIP packs. And I've got another Blacktron promo and another Bionicle promo. Put those over here. And it looks like I picked up this pandas brick heads as being like the extra one to put me over the top oh and then another of the free vip keychains because if they're just going to give them to me for free i think there's a limit of three on them so i placed three orders and got the three and yeah the corner of the box as you can see was crushed but didn't cause any problems at all got some paper there so we'll get that out of the recycling too these boxes probably won't fit because i gotta crush everything down and it's pretty full as it is, so I'm sure I can get the paper in the top, but I don't think I'll get the boxes in. And this is the Amazon purchase. This might be, I think it might be my only Prime Day purchase from Amazon directly. And look at that. Boxes and boxes. These are, let's see, uh, Razor Crest. So it's not the UCS, but it's the regular Razor Crest. And so we've got... Uh, boxes of these they fit really well in this box holy cow it's it's like a glove oh and then there's some paper over there it looks like i only bought five of them i had a limit of 20 and that's just more than i wanted to spend at the moment but i couldn't let it go without getting any so and a little bit more paper which we'll get out of here and another box which i might actually save that having the really big boxes is kind of helpful I actually have saved three other big Amazon boxes up there that are all actually empty. Um, and so I might save this one too. We will see. But that is what I've got. And uh, yeah, we're going to get this recycling out of here and probably get some more work done organizing stuff in here because there's stuff all over the place. But it's definitely getting better. Um, all the boxes in the back here, those are packing material, those two columns. And then over here, what I'm creating is a column of like built sets and that sort of thing uh but i found several empty boxes in the pile of boxes of packing material so we're getting rid of those unless it's one of the ones i'm saving i've also condensed a couple uh pushed everything into one box instead of two that kind of thing so yeah i'm getting there and we'll try to make some more room in here because we're going to have also use this room for some other things and probably put some more stuff in here as well that's what i got right now thank you very much hello again so it is late on Tuesday night, and I have completed an entire additional category of parts. Uh, this was uh, not the pins, but the pin hold pieces. So the pieces have pin holes in them. Uh, there wasn't a ton of different ones in there, but I got those all done, all put away. Uh, I've actually been sitting and listening to a couple of people on whatnot, entering free giveaways. I've won nothing, but that's not surprising to me either. Especially when I know some of those streams, I've seen the same person win more than once in a stream. And I've seen people talk about winning like four, five, six times. And I was like, yeah, something's going on. <laughs> it isn't happening for me, though. So uh, that is what I've got going on right now. 
Uh, I'm going to start in on the, one of these next categories very soon. i got other stuff going on soon as well. Uh, I brought some more stuff down, like these are some boxes here that have more parts in them. Uh, I've got uh, more stuff over here. Where did I put? Oh, and then there's a... Where did I put that? Is it over there? No, I think I put it somewhere else. There's another tote, I think it's over here, that's got uh, some special type stuff in it. Yeah, here we go. This is uh, got some of the old watches and pens and that sort of thing in there, I believe. Uh, that's kind of cool. I also brought down some other stuff over here. Um, so this one came down. This is more vehicle parts. So this is going to get added into uh, washing stream at some point. Uh, probably even tomorrow I will be washing more parts. And then these two have other types of parts in them. These are these they're large, large figure pieces of different types. And then I think this one is... A whole bunch of Bionicle Hero Factory type stuff. Just an entire bucket full of stuff there. So that's stuff that I had sorted years ago. And it is still sorted. So <laughs> it's a little bit quicker on uh, dealing with it once it's in here. So yeah, that is about all I have right now. I did have one sale earlier today. And it was a pretty good sale. It was uh, They bought 40 of one piece. And that was it. But the total was like almost $200 because the piece is like four something a piece. And it was I'm not sure exactly what piece it was because I have 10 of them left. I just have to get over to the right spot where they are. And down here. That is the piece right there. So they bought 40 of them and they were like $4.75 a piece, I think. So it turned out pretty good for that. Got that off to the post office today. Uh, they don't live all that far, so there's a good chance they ordered it today. They may actually receive it on Thursday, which would be amazing. And hopefully they would make some sort of a positive comment about that. Uh, I also, let's see, where did I put that? Oh, yeah. So I had something delivered here last week, and it came with a whole lot of this. This thin foamy stuff and I use this in between layers of those parts in a box to make sure that they didn't get scratched and then you know it didn't rattle or anything like that so that I felt like I packed that pretty well because all those big pieces and they're expensive I don't want them to come scratched to a person so in any case that is all I've got for the time being more stuff going on I'm expecting a couple of people tomorrow for sorting purposes it's just moving on and on and on that's what I got to do anyway thank you very much Hello again. It is Wednesday evening and a lot of happened today. Uh, you'll see there's some boxes and a tote and stuff over here. This is all stuff that I brought down from the office. Uh, there's more stuff that came down from the office, not just this, but this is some of the stuff I'm going to be going through. You can see in here I've got uh, like the fishing tackle boxes with pieces sorted in them, even by color, which is great. Um, this is some of the modified plate that I've been dealing with. Uh, the next category is almost done. Everything on the cart is... All set to get in, put in inventory. The only thing left are these corner pieces, uh, two by two with the corner cut out, and there's a lot of them, and there's a lot of different colors. So that's going to take a little bit of time, and I may actually just put these away first, because as you can see, I only have two more small drawers left to put the pieces in, because they're all on the cart here. Uh, I do have two rows of them over there, so I could probably do that, but I'm also low on space on the cart. I could put them at the very top, but I might just put these away and then come back and put the others away afterwards. Um, I had two people here helping to sort today. Uh, Jeff, who is Rob's brother, uh, and uh, Trevor. And so a lot of stuff happened over here. A lot of these had stuff in them, and they've been further dumped into the bins over here. Uh, Technic is getting out of hand. It's almost two full totes. So, yeah, we're going to need to start dealing with that soon. However, we did wash some more parts. Uh, so I've got parts over here that are drying in the set tub that I'm going to need to flip very soon. And that's more vehicle parts. Uh, we still haven't gotten all of them. There is this bin here, which still has vehicle parts in it. And then there's a little bit more from some of the stuff that I brought down today as well. Um, some of the other stuff that came down are these items over here. Uh, that one's empty now. This has vehicle parts in it. A lot of vehicle parts. Um, 
Jeff took the pieces that he's been saving home. He's actually starting to work on some builds, so that's good. And uh, yeah, so I've got all sorts of stuff going on. I uh, had more work being done outside. I had work being done inside as well. I had uh, somebody here hooking up a new internet service. So that's going to be going into effect very soon. I'm excited about that because it'll be uh, a little more reliable. And uh, it'll cost me a little bit less as well. Anyway, uh, that is all I've got going on over here. I tried, Oh, and then over this direction, actually a couple of things going on. I've got this vertical white storage unit. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing with it. Uh, it's empty and it's similar brands. As you can see, it's Gracious Living here on the, the front of it. It says Gracious Living. This was a brand that Target had for oh, a few years, many years ago. And some of these over here are also Gracious Living, but they're in the black color. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to save that or put it up for trade or sell or something like that. But that's down here now too, because again, I'm trying to make room in the office area. But yeah, uh, oh, uh, also Trevor had taken this, this set, and almost all of it was in what he took. And then he was able to find more of the pieces here when he uh, came back and looked through the tote that it was missing. There are only three pieces missing. Uh, one of them is right here. Uh, there is one of these clips, and there's supposed to be two. There's actually, well, it's supposed to be eight, and there's only seven. This one is one of two that's supposed to be here holding that piece in place. And then there's two sextant pieces missing that is also used as greebling. And uh, they are only in dark gray in this set and one other set. And there's two in this set and one in the other set. So yeah, getting those replacements are, could be a little pricey. But this is basically complete. Sticker, you know, it's a little worn. It's an old, old sticker. I believe this set came out in 99. But otherwise, everything is complete. So yeah, that was kind of exciting. Uh, there's a little bit of discoloring through some of the parts. Like you can see here, this tile here is a, a more vibrant blue. And the two on either side are a little more faded. So there's a little bit of that going on. Uh, same thing happened down here. So I just think that the longer tiles maybe had a slightly different makeup for their side like this one here these two also a little faded but the ones on either side not as faded so uh we will see i may look into replacing those but yeah it's pretty cool though uh that especially the fact that it is basically complete uh but yeah that is what's going on down here uh i can't think of anything else so we're going to cut it off here we're going to get some more work done tonight and we'll come back and do another update tomorrow thank you hello it is Thursday, late afternoon probably, and I had a lot of stuff going on today already. Uh, I have a lot more stuff down in the basement. You'll see some stuff on the cart here. There's some stuff over here. Um, there's some additional stuff here. There's more stuff here. Uh, I basically have been clearing out some areas upstairs and bringing stuff down here. Uh, and then in that, I found a couple of orders that I placed directly with Lego through the pick a brick here. This one was just one part, and the other one, is you can see over there, is a number of parts. And those parts over here. And there's a lot of glow-in-the-dark pieces here. Uh, most of them probably weren't actually worthwhile price-wise. Uh, maybe they were when I ordered them, but it's been so long. It's probably been two years. Uh, stuff just get, got lost. So I'm getting ready to add this in. But the nice thing about this is apparently, I think... I only have one part that's already in the store, although I realize I have to check something. I, I could be wrong with that. Um, but yeah, we're going to get ready to upload those very soon. Uh, and then we've actually been doing other stuff. I had a couple of people over, uh, two daughters of friends of mine. And so this is more stuff I brought down. They did some sorting, uh, but then we also washed some parts. Uh, and it's uh, done. It finished a little while ago, but it's still in here. So more vehicle parts, so I think at this point all the vehicle parts, and then a whole bunch of the large plates, which I've already done once before. So the first one I'm washing a second time, but the bin for large plates is getting full, and now it's a lot less full. So we will get that stuff over there into those bins. We have two full clear totes there of vehicle parts, although the one closest is a little emptier. I'm gonna try to fit the additional vehicle parts in both of those, and then there'll be another bin with the large plates. And so, yeah, we've got some more stuff going on there. And that means that I can actually have somebody maybe sort the large plates for me by size um, because uh, that would be an easy task to do. And really the one by uh, and two by bricks and plates and then the large bricks and the large plates, those are really easy categories to sort because it's really just 
there's a number of different sizes, sort them. Uh, not a lot of real special stuff going on. But yeah, so that's what's been going on here. And uh, so we're going to get back to this and I'm gonna check that one thing because maybe there's more than uh, one part that's already in my inventory, I have to check that. But we'll get over there and check that. And uh, as always, thank you. Hello. Uh, I have not been really good with taking video recently. Uh, it is Sunday night and I'm going to make this the last section of the vlog and get it up for tomorrow. I am still working on the modified plate. I have three categories down there that haven't been touched. Each one in the gray is one and the two purple lidded ones are the same. Uh, and I have up here uh, the jumper category, which is a pretty easy one. Uh, there was the one by two jumpers, which I already sorted out the light bluish gray. So Ben, who was here, could go through and sort them by color. And so there's two of those drawers there with the two different uh, light bluish gray and light gray. Uh, I don't really have many of these, but it's a mo more relatively recent part. I have none of the 2x4 jumpers. And then 2x2 uh, two two square and 2x2 two two round with the one in the middle for both of those. Um, but yeah, so I've got some boxes here I was going to cut down for dividers. I'm getting a little low, you can see up there. There's still a fair number of them in there, but I like you know keep it full. That way if I don't have time, I can get to it. There is all sorts of other stuff down here now. I've got this tote here. More of these. These drawers, which were upstairs and next to where I was sorting before. Um, all of these tackle box type things that I had been sorting into years ago. Um, just for my own personal collection, basically. So these are one by one round plate. Uh, all the colors separated out there. Uh, but the one below it is grills. There's more grills in this one. Some of the less common colors. I've got clips there just all sorts of different things and there's a whole stack of these here and some more things here um over this way i've got a bunch of the stuff that was supposed to get into the crouch space went in but now i've got more stuff that needs to go in again so that's going to fill up really quick uh, it's pretty full as it is i'm sure um i had green light here to install the internet so i can switch over to that and so i can move the totes but then i remembered that uh my carpenter had asked about whether or not I wanted to have a, a water spigot on that side of the house. So we're holding off to load them up down that hallway. Um, I've got more stuff here that needs to be sorted. i got a bunch of stuff here that needs to be sorted. It's kind of like primary sort now because it's kind of bags and smaller totes and stuff. So we'll get through all that stuff and then plus the box and all sorts of things. Um, we did wash more and I think I probably mentioned that previously. But over here we've got the last of the larger plates and also all the two by brick that was currently sorted is done and washed. By this time it's actually, I'm sure, dry. I actually just shut off the dehumidifier so I could make the video a little quieter. Um, so we have down here three totes of vehicle parts. We'll probably have one tote, maybe a little bit more than a tote of the large plate and then one tote of the two by brick. Um, I also decided not to wash these large plates like this and some of the large vehicle parts because I was just concerned they might break in the wash because they're just so large. Um, going this way, um, I have some stuff that's actually going to be slated to go upstairs over here and a couple of sets here that need to go somewhere else. Um, some sets are down here that shouldn't be but I'm leaving them and other stuff I'm trying to get where it needs to go. Uh, I did have an order from somebody in Lug. They're going to probably pick it up tomorrow or Tuesday so that's ready to go there. Um, and then over this way, I even have additional stuff here. Uh, these totes, this is loose as well. Uh, this is uh, a purchase I made through like a garage sale, but they were doing like a silent auction. So I got a bunch of pirate stuff and Ben's already gone through the minifigures on that. Um, and then this tote down here is largely bags of sorted category pieces. So that's good. That'll go quickly. Um, let's see. Uh, over this way, Ben has been working over here. I also spent time cleaning up this area down through here, so it's a lot less cluttered. Uh, I broke down boxes, got rid of some, and I've got some I'm keeping in this tote. And yes, that's a tote that had Lego in it, so now I'm using it for something else because, well, it's empty. I have some other empty totes as well, but Ben's still working on stuff over here. I mean, I can see that there's just like this morass sea of heads, just tons of heads in here. Uh, all these categories still just getting bigger and 
hands and arms and different things over here and all the categories. So we're, we're getting there. It, it's going to be, it'll be good. Um, and then let's see. Uh, we also have over in here, just outside the door, some additional stuff that I brought down that instead of bringing into this area of the basement, I left it over here. And it's just some more loose bulk, although I think those shoe boxes are sorted uh, categories. So those will be able to get dealt with very quickly as well. Uh, but this all needs to be sorted. And I'm just like, it's loose bulk. It'll just sit there for the time being. I didn't have a problem with that. Um, I can't think of anything else right off. Um, I think we're going to try to get this video out uh, going forward. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to turn out a video every week just because... We got a lot of stuff going on, uh, especially in the next month or two. All sorts of stuff going on. I had a couple of projects I took care of upstairs that weren't directly Lego related. Uh, trying to get uh, some room ready for some guests that are coming in September. Uh, I also have a couple of people that might be staying a little sooner than that. So, yeah, we got a lot going on here and it's it's fun. I'm getting a lot of headway upstairs, which is good, but it means the progress down here is slipping a little bit. But I did spend a good chunk of time down here, like I said, making a room for a lot of the stuff that came down from the old sorting area. So all that bulk that I had up there is in a couple of different places upstairs, and some of it came down here. And, uh, yeah, so we're going from there. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, please leave a message down below. And uh, thank you again. Take care.